Hello and welcome to this base building tutorial. Now, first thing you want to do in pretty much any base is this process. You put a foundation down, then a pillar, and then drop it down, and then another pillar. I had to deal with something there. Now, as you can see, the pillars are actually at the same height. That's an indication that it didn't work for the second one. Now, the foundation I just placed there, you want to keep. Do not destroy. It is important for later. You can try to place it there, or where I'm about to place it in the middle. On the edge, it can be a bit buggy. As you see, it's significantly lower. And that's as low as you can probably get it. There are ways to drop it more, but then you start getting a bit more technical. Now, you want to lay your foundations down, but leave that one piece. Now, remove the pillar before you add your stone or metal. You can do this with stone and double layer stone. Remove the pillar like I said and then grab a metal base and get the lowest point. I don't recommend doing what I'm about to do, but it's just to show what the principle is. As you can see, I've just doubled up using the other platform. It makes it slightly harder to do all the bottoms if you do that now. If you do it next, after you drop a platform down here, it makes it 10 times easier. But arc snap points are annoying. You do want extra resources because as you'll see here, I'm not moving and it's switching between the snap points. And it can be where you think it will, and then it will snap when you actually go to place. It's one of the things that allows you to build many different things, but it's got its drawbacks because of this snapping issue. As you see, it went all weird. Now, I would be highly annoyed if I was in normal mode. Obviously, I'm in creative for the tutorial. But it is really expensive when you're playing properly to build these sort of bases because you double everything up. Now, you want the highest point you can get. Do not go any lower. And once again, I am showing you the principle. We are double layering the wall. We cannot double layer the wall without a foundation on the outside. As you can see, I can get to the snap point, but I cannot get this outside snap point. Now, make sure the foundations are that level. It is very important for allowing you to do the double layered and you do need one on every single side and as you can see arc randomly goes nope you're gonna have to slow down and make sure of the snap points generally there's a wall or a floor or a roof that it just takes a lot longer than it should it's what it is you can't fix it but just go slow and you won't waste resources. Now, go around and snap all your walls. As you can see, we can now snap the outside. Just go around, do the insides, and then snap the outsides. Because you want something structural as soon as possible. Now, I want to break the other one because the door it needs to go in. And we're going to double layer the door. So there is no weak point. Side on 
generally is the best to try to get that outside point. Now, you just need to move around, try to duck, jump, do whatever it takes to get that next snap point in. Now, we could have double layered this inside door, but really, if they're already in past this point, and then you're in an airlock, it's going to take, without any sort of raid protection, it's going to take four to five C4 to get through the wall. Then you've got doubled walls, so we now increase that to eight to ten. Now the door is 6,500, but we've doubled it, so it's just the same as a wall. Now this part, we can build another layer up than a ceiling, or we can build the ceiling now. We are going to build the ceiling now, and you'll be amazed at what we can put inside this little structure that is pretty much a tank. And obviously, use something cheap. I'm in creator mode, I can use a metal ceiling without any fuss. If you've got S plus or whatever, you can place it, pick it up with S plus or something. Now, the ceilings, can be hard. A double layered ceiling generally is easier to snap point than a like a double high is easier to snap point than a single high. We use this little trick of placing the wall slightly lower and then the door frame because obviously airlock. We want to annoy anyone who raids us as well. Make it as hard for them as possible and more expensive. As you can see, we can double layer it. We could also double layer the wall, make it everything like that. As you can see, we just double layer the ceiling. Then just go around, you can do the one layer, two layer. And now we're on top. You don't need a hatch frame if you're on a modded server or a modded single player where you have the autofill commands because you can access the turrets without even going on the roof. But if you don't have that and or you want access to the roof, change the settings and all that if you only have them on the roof. You want a hatch frame? Now it all depends on which way you place it, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be a door. And this design, this one layered design, does not need a ladder on the inside. You'll see in a minute. As you can see, this is, I do it again. We can get up, no ladder. It's a little jumping glitch bug thing that Ark has about a platform or a structure near you. Now, defense, you can obviously fit eight guns on top of the roof. Obviously, these are all heavies. You need a level 100 for a heavy, so you can just use turrets. And if you do a note run, and unless you're on official, a note run should get your turrets. Now, obviously, that is pretty imposing already. And most people wouldn't even be able to tell it's double layered if you turn the foundations into blocks. Now inside, we can put the Jenny here, which I recommend if you build this design because it allows you to actually hide it. All your outlets, doesn't matter which one you stick it on, they're all hidden inside. There is no weak point for the outlet, which is a big problem in many people's bases. Now, as you turn it on, one of the best sounds ever is when they all come alive. That's just scary in itself. Just seeing all that, you'd want to stay clear. Now, I'll show you what you could do to make this thing a bigger monster. Generate it up on a pillar with a ceiling foundations. We are putting guns 
because we can. You can put whatever you want in here. I do recommend a couple of guns because why not? Someone wants to try to turn your power off, we'll just shoot them. Plus, if you have a generator inside and on your roof, or raised above or whatever, they will target the generator they can see or is obvious. And yes, if you pay really close attention, you can see the wires attached lower, but you've got to be pretty close. So they're going to target that upper box, thinking that's going to knock out all your guns. And it's not. It'll knock out the top ones, yes. You're going to have massive amount of defense still. And you can access everything in here. Smithy, generator, fabricator, we have refining forges, and mortar and pestle, because obviously a chem bench is a bit big. Now, if you build a too high thing, you can obviously put in virtually everything else. Fridge, all that. But this is a little monster. <laughs>